Hi there, Aries. This is your Taroscope for November 2006. We're going to cover the whole month here. First, we're going to go through this spread right here. I know we usually start with some of the cards up here, but we're going to do this. And then we're going to move on to what these three cards have in store for you in the different areas of your life. Okay, so first card on deck is coming from the Goddess Tarot, and you received the Princess of Pentacles. Fantastic. So the Princess, this lovely little lady here, is all about being curious and wondering what's on the other side of the fence. Is the grass greener? If you, my dear Aries, have been considering making a change or you feel like you need to, I don't know, something just needs to shift in your life. Perhaps you've been given an opportunity and you're pondering taking it on. Uh, right here, you may be experiencing that. That's what the princess is bringing into play. She's also a very determined character in this, in this tarot deck. She has wishes and dreams and goals, and she does seek to accomplish them all. Okay, so if what you have been given for an opportunity or if one arises in the month of November, this may turn on a little, a little motivation switch for you. Okay, this may pique your interest and think, hmm, that might be the change that I've been yearning for. Okay, so very, very important card. I also want to point out that the princess may or may not be a man or a woman. Okay, this could be anybody in your life. This could also be you or an outside source. Uh, her uh, a, a sign, astrology sign, is an Aquarius. Okay, so this if this is part of your sun, not sun because you're Aries, I'm sorry, moon, ascending, any signs in that category, this is definitely a card for you or this is somebody as an outside source with an Aquarius sign in their astrology makeup. Second card in is transformation. Aha! Well, that makes an awful lot of sense since the princess here is looking for a change. It's time to ch 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 change it, time to make a change. Okay, so obviously this is really right front and center, smack dab in your face, and saying that what needs to be moved around right now? What needs to be shifted? What do you need to do to create this new world, this new atmosphere, whatever that may be? If you're any thing like my mom, she's a sweet, sweet Sagittarius. She's always in this ever-evolving moment of change. I remember going to school and coming home on just random days throughout the year, and my bedroom would be in a completely different room of the house. <laughs> she would change things all the time. I loved it. I was like, sweet, we were getting a new room. It was wonderful for me. Some people have a hard time changing. Um, if this is something that you struggle with, know that in the month of November, it may come a little bit more easier for you. Okay, so if the transformation needs to happen, if it is, you know, nudging you and poking at you, then you know that it has to, it has to be made. Some choices have to be made and a, and a change has to take place. Last card is the Prince of Pentacles. You've had the Princess and now here comes the Prince. Once again, this could be a male or female. And the astrology sign is a Taurus or a Virgo. Okay, so same same guidelines apply if this if Taurus Virgo is in your sun ascend, I keep saying sun in your moon or your ascending signs then this is you if it isn't then this is an outside source okay so what does the prince, prince bring along I keep loving over my words get it together Nikki <laughs> okay the prince is someone who is patient loyal and quite reliable. 
so during this time of change and transformation, along comes the prince to really guide you through any corners, blocks, uh, things that may be popping up. If you, if you feel like you're kind of pulling out, saying, I don't know if I can do this, the prince is say, sitting here saying, yes, you can. Everything's going to be just fine, and you can do this, okay? Wonderful, wonderful person in your life, or this could be part of what comes out of the transformation for you. You may realize through this change, through this shift, that you've become more patient, more calm. Maybe you have something really chaotic going on in your life right now, and you just can't take it anymore, and you do something to move that person or if you're doing something that drives you crazy, working somewhere or just an old habit that does not serve you whatsoever and you have to make that change, you'll realize once you do that it brings peace into your life. Good stuff. All right, so these three cards, as I mentioned at the beginning of this Terrascope, are going to be directed specifically to areas of your life. The first card here on deck is coming from the messages from your animal spirit guides, and this is all about your career. Okay, you've received the spider. This could also be in regards to uh, your furthering education, anything that really has been working your mind lately. So the message here is trust the creative spark you've you've been feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Okay, so what does that mean? Oh, to me, right away, it means that something needs to occur to work more directly with the universe. This is basically pen to paper. I've said it a million times before. I'm sure you've heard me in the weekly nuggets of inspiration say it. Um, the spiders just come along to let you know that what you do want out of your career or your your goals, your dreams, what you want if you want more money, higher monetary status, it's time to write it down. Create a story that, that stars you in the, in the story and you're just a multimillionaire. <laughs> I don't know. You know, or you're working your dream job and you're just on the top of the world. Good stuff. So, pen to paper. Second card in is about your love life. And you've received, oh, and this is from the Fairy Tarot Cards of Doreen Virtue. You've received release. Got to release something here. The message is let go of the past. An ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. Okay, now this card isn't saying, Aries, break up with that loser. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to be funny. Um, or maybe you are dating a loser. I don't know. Somebody that just brings you down, does not serve your higher purpose anymore, makes you, doesn't make you feel good. They're just, you've been together far too long and there's just no more spark left. Um, you can, you can, you can release them. Maybe this is the card that's saying, hey, it is time for a breakup. But this could also be a little bit deeper of meaning, too. If you're struggling in your relationship and you need, you need like a new avenue for communication, or maybe you've been having a hard time trusting your mate, and this not, and this isn't because your mate is untrustworthy, or dishonest, maybe this is just baggage you're carrying from your past, and so now you don't trust anybody. Um, this is something that you just need to release. You've got to let go of that emotion because it will serve you better in the future. If you are single, um, this card is also about releasing ideas of what type of person you want to be with. I did a reading for a woman, I think it was two weeks ago, and she's been looking for love for a really long time, and she's like, you know, what's going on? Why isn't it happening? And I saw in her reading, and I got messages from my guides too, that it had to do with her expectations 
were above and beyond. You know, she literally wanted to date, you know, Superman. And I'm not saying that Superman isn't out there for her, but sometimes you would be so surprised that the people that you would never even bat an eye at or double take their way is the perfect mate for you. So, singles, release any type of, you know, ideas or judgments that you may have because once you let go of that, it says right here in this card, a new opportunity will open, a door will open. Also, singles, if you're in love with your best friend, they're not into you. It's like that book. He's just not into you. You gotta let that go. Okay? You gotta catch on to that vibe. Realize it's not gonna work no matter how much you love them. And let it go. Because once you do, Mr. or Mrs. Wright is gonna show up. You're making room for them to walk into your life. Alright, last card on deck. And this is coming from my soul cards okay they're intuition cards they don't come with a book they don't have any meanings they're just pictures I've been working with them for from the beginning of time all right so this card is in regards to your family friends home life okay looks like someone here is looking to be closer to you okay because you're the you're the bigger being above here you're almost like a guardian angel to somebody right now if you've been noticing throughout the month of november that people are looking to you more for advice or support or just needing to be around you this is why you are being looked at as someone that can take on that role for them so open up your heart okay be grateful that they're around and know that this is part of giving back for the month of November, okay? So if someone calls you in the middle of the night, don't be angry because you have to be up early in the morning and you have a million things to do. Open your heart to them. Be available to them. Don't go overboard, though, with this. Don't let, you know, people use you or take advantage of you. But definitely give a little bit more of yourself through the month of November. I think everybody's going to kind of have that theme anyway, because it is the giving and grateful, thankful month. All right, Aries, that wraps up your telescope. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, all the love. I know I'm not the best at getting back to you, but someday I will, I promise. All right. Have yourselves a beautiful, beautiful November. Bye-bye.